Version 1.0 of the XR Gaming plugin is live, and it addresses the biggest pain point that people have with the plugin and adds a bunch of new features that I'm excited to announce. So let's plug in and see what happens. The biggest change to announce is the XR effect no longer requires a Vulcan game in order to work. So I've plugged in my Rayneo glasses and now I can look around and see the edges of the screen and use smooth follow or virtual display mode or reposition the screen with the side view options and not have to be in game. And let me show you what that means. Here I have Chiaki for deck, and I can resume a session I already had open. And here I am on my PlayStation 4, be able to launch into a game. And if I move my glasses around, I'm getting a virtual display in Chiaki. I have a moonlight session open with Steam Big Picture mode on my PC, and that's working great. And then just a regular PlayStation 2 emulator running on my deck natively, also getting the effect. One thing you'll notice is that when you're in a game, these sidebar menus do not get the effect. But as soon as you return home or viewing your library, you get the effect back. Looking at the options, I can still use uh, follow mode with smooth follow. That's what I was just demonstrating. There's a commonly requested feature here, which is the ability to change the, the threshold at which it follows. So if I change that to something like 10, which is in degrees, then I can look 10 degrees to the side before it begins to follow me. It gives you a little bit more margin. You can look a little bit further away at the corners or edges if you need to, if you've got some blurring there and you need to, to be able to see details. One thing I won't demonstrate here that's been added is support for side-by-side -side mode while in follow mode. This allows you to change display depth so you can move the display closer or further away and still get the positioning and smooth follow features from follow mode. So you can see here I can change the display position and then if I, if I zoom out now I've got a top left display and I can still use smooth follow in combination with side view. If I move it to bottom right, there it goes down there. Another thing I've added from Breezy Desktop for, for GNOME is the curve display feature. So this is, this is most beneficial when you're in widescreen mode, but you can see if I turn it on right now, it adds a little bit of curvature to the display. If for some reason something's going wrong with it, you can always disable the game scope integration that puts this effect over all of the UI. And this will fall back to Vulcan only mode. So you'll get a message here that says Vulcan only mode. And that means that the effect will still apply, but it only applies in, in games that are running on Vulcan. So this is still working, for example, but Moonlight and Chiaki will no longer be getting the effect, and neither will the Steam menus. One important thing to note is that the game scope integration only works on the 3.6.15 OS version. If you look at the build, September 23rd, 2024 is when that was built. Anything later than that will work with this. Anything earlier than that will fall back to Vulcan only mode. And at the time of this recording, version 3.6 is only available in the beta SteamOS channel. So if you want to play around with this, you will have to make sure that you are in beta or preview. So that's it for now. This update has been a long time coming, so I'm super excited to be releasing it out into the wild and letting you all play with it. Keep in mind this is still a beta, so there may still be some kinks to work out. You can always fall back to Vulcan only mode if, if something's going wrong and let me know what you think. Enjoy.